do you breathe more with diaphragm or ribs? What type of question is this? Do you breathe more with your diaphragm or your ribs? What do you think? I'll ask you the answer. First tell me, what do you think the answer should be? Or do you think it's a very lame question? Not a valid question. First of all, none of the questions are invalid. All questions are good. If you are answering and trying to find the solution properly, all questions are really important. Do you breathe more with diaphragm or the ribs? To answer this, to answer this, we need to know about two things. The abdominal breathing and the thoracic breathing. Now, try to recall, I had asked you a question. Once more, let's do that. Once more. So, I had asked you a question. Relax and breathe. Slowly. Now, deep breathe. Breathe out. What is the difference? Now, try to put a tick mark and give yourself, you remember uh, during the Oh my god, I have made such a bad star. How was it? Like this, right? We used to get stars, A plus, when we were like in the lower classes. I always try to get stars. You know, stars is like you are very good, you have done very good. Put a star for yourself if you have got the answer correct. Okay? Now, we are going to discuss it. Be honest and give yourself a star or A plus or a cross. If you're wrong, first, let us study about abdominal breathing calm down and observe what's happening here let's let's observe first what's happening here what do you think see the movement of that weight do you see do you see the in fact while i do gymming i actually do this activity yes do you see it do you see it abdominal breathing abdominal breathing well this type of a breathing Breathing in, breathing out is with your, it's mostly with your belly. Fine. It involves the breathing mostly with your diaphragm. And when you are doing this, when you are mostly sleeping or when you are in a relaxed state. So this is a relaxed breathing. I was talking about this. When you relax and breathe, you will see your chest, they're moving but not much. In fact, what moves is, feel it. Put your hand over here. On top of your belly and relax and breathe. See what is moving. Breathe. Come on. What is moving? The chest more or the this part, the abdomen part. This is moving. Right? This is abdominal breathing. And when we do this, when we are at rest and mostly when we are sleeping. You know, right now I'm not doing abdominal breathing more. In fact, what I'm doing is more of more of the other type of breathing which I'll talk about right away, okay? Right now, in fact. So, so normal, quiet breathing almost entirely by the diaphragm. Helps, in a, helps a person to relax, health benefits. Fine, okay? Now, what I am doing right now, because I'm using a lot of energy, I am talking, 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 I need a lot of air going inside, going out, a lot of activities are doing. So, mostly what I'm doing is thoracic breathing. So, breathing, Primarily using the external intercostal muscles. Fine. So do see here. See the weight. It's not moving much. When I am doing a deep breath, the stomach part is not coming out more, which was happening during the abdominal breathing. Here, during thoracic breathing, the chest part is coming outside more. Right. So what do you think when we do this during mostly the emergency situations? During vigorous exercise, when you are using a lot of energy, when that time you do the thoracic breathing. Fine? Clear? So, you know, it's not a very good uh, way to always do thoracic breathing because it, it uh, you get tensed. That means your body is not relaxed. If you are relaxed, then you are doing abdominal breathing. And that's the purpose of meditation. It helps you control your breath the breathing process it helps to control your mind and keeps it relaxed clear fine so thoracic breathing it happens we do this mostly during emergency situations or vigorous exercise right now also i'm doing a lot of thoracic breathing because i'm using a lot of energy 
I'm doing a lot of activities. Great. So, recall quiet breathing, inspiration, diaphragm and the external intercostal muscles contract, expiration, diaphragm and the external intercostal muscles relax. Well, so breathing during exercise. Yes. Are there anything else which is involved other than this diaphragm, the muscles here, diaphragm, external intercostal muscles, anything else involved? What do you think? Breathing during exercise, uh, are these enough? It's not. It's not. Any, can you guess? Just, just look at this. This is a hint for you. Okay, I'll show it to you. I'm not showing the muscles yet. There's a hint here on the skeleton. Can you feel, try to feel it, which are the other muscles which will be involved or don't have to name it. Just try to feel it or try to relate it, which may be the muscles which may be involved if you're doing vigorous exercise that point of time. Think about it. Just look here. In fact, you can do it. Try to do a deep breath and feel it. Feel it. Feel it. I'm waiting. Well, let me show it to you. The muscles like the sternocleidomastoid and the scaleness. So, such muscles are needed in addition when you are doing vigorous exercise. Okay? See? Fine? Got it? When you are doing vigorous exercise, then just the diaphragm and external intercostal muscles are not enough. Not enough. During heavy breathing, other muscles are also involved over here. Fine? It doesn't end here. I'll talk about some more. Some more. You know, normal expiration is a passive process. Fine? And it does not involve a lot of contraction of any other muscles. Not much. Not much. Fine? But during exercise, you will see you are doing quick and heavy breathing. <sighs> we do this, right? Why? And how rather? The question, now, why is fine? We need lots of oxygen so that we can generate more of energy which is being used due to the exercise, vigorous exercise. But how is the question? How is the question? So this is achieved by another set of intercostal muscles and that's not external, but that is internal intercostal muscles. And also, these are the internal intercostal muscles. And next, which is involved is the abdominal muscles. Let me show it to you. Yes, these are the abdominal muscles. Got it? So during heavy breathing, when you're doing vigorous exercise, so these muscles are also involved. The internal intercostal muscles as well as the abdominal muscles. Fine? Got it?